In the meantime, let's bring in Tom Lee now. He is the head of research at Fundstrat. Tom, welcome back to you. It's not going to be a surprise to anybody to hear that you are bullish on the market. I think that's fair to say. You suggest today in a note that you think the odds still favor that markets bottomed on 224. You're standing by that. What do you make of what the Fed chair had to say today and the level of specificity in which he said it? Uh, well, it was it was a positive development. I mean, that's why we're seeing markets react the way it is. I mean, a lot of it is what the committee members said, which is visibility is returned. And I think today we did finally price in the first hike. So March 15th now is just a formality. But I think that the second sort of importance of, of today's testimony is it's an incrementally dovish move uh, because it's acknowledging all the challenges because of this war. And it takes down, I think it reduces the risk that the Fed will tighten into a, in, and create a recession. So I, I think it kind of validates our view that even though the first half is going to be pretty tough here, the 224 might actually be the low for the first half. But I, again, I, I'd say the odds are increasing. I'm not sure how much, you know, I, I don't know what probability I could say assign to that. How, how many hikes by the Fed are you personally now expecting? Uh, well, I'm, you know, I'm looking more at Fed futures to see what the market's pricing, Scott. And so I think, you know, the four to five sounds appropriate. Um, but of course, you know, there, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot to happen. There's a lot of news that'll happen between now and December. So I, I would say, again, I think the best thing to be said today is that the Fed doesn't look like it's behind the curve. You know, the 25 basis points is, is what the market was expecting. But we know that, that Powell, and he said as much himself, and you've got to be careful about reading too much dovishness into what he said today, because at the end of the day, though he was specific about 25 versus 50, um, he didn't give you any indication to think that they were going to change course in the bigger picture, Tom Lee. And that is perhaps the biggest headline that you get today, not the 25. It's the fact that no matter what's happening right now, as of today in the world, it's not enough to move the Fed share off course. Uh, that's true, Scott. I mean, you know, I, I think that there's sort of a binary view in markets that if the Fed is normalizing, we should have a bear market. But as you know, normalizing monetary policy that's appropriate, even though it's an adjustment, doesn't mean stocks have to fall into a bear market. So I, I think that that's a really important distinction. And also by sort of slowing some of the hikes, it is giving us more time to, to, to really understand how much of the supply chain is adding to pricing pressures versus uh, unremitting, unremitting demand or excess demand versus supply chain issues. So I, I think it's an incrementally positive development.